On a rencontré Alondra et Barry sur le salon AHR et ils ont accepté de nous accueillir pour une visite de la plus grosse usine de reconditionnement de compresseurs du monde. Hi, my name is Alondra and I'm the marketing coordinator for CMP Corporation. CMP is a factory that remanufactures and rebuilds compressors and its parts. We have two facilities, one in Stone Mountain and one in Oklahoma City. This is our Stone Mountain facility and I hope you enjoy the show. My name is Barry Hodge. I work for CMP Corporation um, and I'm uh, happy to uh, be touring with you guys today and, and showing you our facility. It's a 220,000 square foot facility in Stone Mountain, Georgia. What you'll see here is the, uh, uh, the beginning of what we call the A1 line. You'll see a good shot of, of after we've requalified some of these parts and pieces of what a requalified crankshaft looks like. It looks like a brand new shaft when we get done with it. You couldn't tell it from a, from a new shaft uh, because if we don't have them, we'll, uh, it, from time to time, we have to uh, put new shafts in these uh, compressors. So the first, one of the first things you have to do is put the bearings in these compressors and then the, the crankshaft is added to it. And that's kind of where the process begins. Uh, as you'll see, um, we might get over here a little bit closer and uh, you can see the, the inside. You can see how good a look uh, and clean this, this core looks. The customer to know that what it looks like on the outside is what it looks like on the inside. Um, you'll see these are two carrier Carlisle compressors. <clears throat> Here you'll get to a, a Copeland compressor. Uh, the motors are pressed in. Uh, the, this one looks like it's got new pistons uh, with it. And uh, they're assembling the uh, uh, connections for the motor terminals at this point. You'll see that this one is hooked up for testing processes and uh, it's hooked up, it, it, it checks uh, suction pressure, uh, discharge pressure, uh, oil pressure, uh, leak tested uh, on, on numerous, uh, we, we, te we have flow charts and so if those compressors don't meet a hundred percent of those specs it goes back and if there's something that we can fix on it, we, we fix it. If it, it, if it fails uh, more than once or twice, then we'll send it back and we'll start it all over. You'll, you'll see these are coming into our paint department, getting ready for paint. Uh, they've been cleaned to make sure there's no oils left or anything. Uh, on the castings themselves. They will be uh, fully painted. Uh, they'll be boxed up. We want these things to look as good as new. <clears throat> if you want to see what they're going to look like when they come out of this facility, you'll, you'll see uh, the A1 compressor name tag has been added to it. It'll tell you the model number, the serial number, the uh, voltage and the rated load amps are on every tag that goes out of here. But that's the brand of compressor that is, uh, is, is fastly becoming a, uh, a name known with it. The A1 name has been around for more than 80 years. The, the, the pipeline to cores uh, on our compressors is extremely important. And as you'll see, we get truckloads of compressors daily. And uh, these cores are coming in and they are, they are tagged and named and getting ready to go down to the uh, lines to be able to be torn down. As, as you'll see, we compile, uh, when you're running from 100 to 130 cores a day out here uh, to build the compressors we need, we, there's a, probably a 30% a, a attrition rate where uh, cores, whether if the cylinder walls are, are so bad we can't rebuild it, we can grab a few parts of it, but we, we lose those castings and we, we have to, to build 
a hundred compressors, it may take a hundred and thirty teardowns a day to keep up capacity-wise from the attrition that we lose uh, from the cores. One of the things that we're, we're most proud of is our winding facility. Uh, we have a motor shop that's fully automated uh, and we can uh, rewind about 75 comp uh, motors a day out of this facility. Um, it, I don't think there's anyone in the country like this in hermetic motors uh, of any kind, which saves so much time over what most people do by hand winding. Uh, I, I, somebody that was doing hand winding on one of these motors can probably maybe produce two of these a day at most. Uh, again, we have maybe four or five people that will put out 75, 80 of these uh, motors a day. Uh, when we put the coils and we rewind a motor like this and we use a new iron, it is virtually a brand new motor. Uh, no different than uh, when the original motor was made. Okay, when you get to the, uh, the teardown department, uh, you'll notice that uh, the first thing we do is to uh, send these compressors through a bath where they're steamed off, they're sprayed down, and so we want to start the process of, uh, of cleaning them before we even get to the teardown department. And so uh, they go through this machine right here that virtually watches everything off of them. They come on the conveyor line. You'll see them come down mostly two at a time and hit this line where we see one, two, three, four, five, uh, looks like six people on this teardown assembly. Uh, they, uh, again, they'll be tearing down probably uh, uh, 130 of these a day. As you'll, you'll see as we move down this line, um, you'll, you'll see different areas where uh, we go through where these different parts and pieces uh, are being taken out of this compressor. You'll notice the motors and the irons that we just saw a few minutes ago, uh, this is where they come from. This is where they start the cleanup process. Uh, you'll see these old motors, we've, we've shaved off one end of it They'll pull all of that wire out of there. We'll save that copper, uh, turn it into uh, the people that we buy our copper from and recycle some of that back to them. Um, you'll see heads going in one direction. You'll see uh, the pistons and rods and um, crankshafts all going to the different areas to be Requalified. You can you can see here how many of these parts that we'll need daily. Uh, this area in particular just uh, just contains heads that will be uh, constantly cleaned and buffed and polished until those are brand new. We have some employees that have been here for 30 and 40 years. This is Keith right here, one of the most valued guys here. Um, Keith, tell, tell me a little bit about yourself and, and how long you've been here. I've been over here in this building here 20 some years, but I've been with CMP going on two years. I'm gonna show you all a little bit about what we're doing with valve plates. If you can, you point right here. We're gonna go this way here. This side of valve plate, look, they look like this when they come in. Uh, I'm gonna pull one of them out. This is the shape that they in right here. Right here. The fear is the start. I'm gonna show you the finish. Finish good. Okay. This piece is almost finished. This is how it look. You finish. They got one more step to go through. But we do all valve plates. We um, make sure all of them ready to go. And uh, very few are bad that we don't have to use them. And we have all models. 
bare plate that, put, that fits all the models that we have in the building. And also, they'll leave here, go through that process right there, and, and they'll finish right over here. That's your finished good right here. Piece right here. That's the finished good. That's what they look like at the end. You see the beginning and the end. Well, we're going to uh, conclude our tour right here, kind of where we started. Uh, first of all, I appreciate the opportunity of uh, you guys coming out and, and giving us a chance to show you what we do here at CMP in Stone Mountain, Georgia. I would hope that uh, in the future, if there's ever a need for any kind of compressor that you may need, whether it be nationally in the U.S. or internationally, uh, that you'll think about CMP when you need uh, something in the future. Thanks again for your time, and uh, I'm glad to be with you today. Thank you very much. All right. Welcome.